Hey guys, it's X. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be making easy beef entrees. And this is the best ever roast in this crock pot five ingredient or less recipe is where I got it from. It is on page six. So basically what this entails is beef chuck shoulder roast, which I could not find, but I found the next best thing. Um, some mushroom soup, an envelope of dry onion soup. Ooh, I did not get that, but whatever. We will, you know, do our own little thing. Um, four to five potatoes and four cups of baby carrots. So unfortunately my husband does not eat meat, so this is the recipes I made for myself, so let's just get to cooking. Okay, you're gonna need a crock pot for this recipe. And so I couldn't find beef chuck shoulder, but I got the short rib boneless. I think it turned out fabulous regardless. So just so you know, that's what I got. Then I got this organic cream of mushroom soup. I am just taking the time to show you the ingredients and the calories because I've been really into looking at ingredients and knowing what I'm putting in my body. And then we're just gonna pop the beef chuck straight into the crock pot and then pour over the Cream of mushroom soup. Okay, now we're gonna add some garlic powder and then some onion powder. So this is to make up for the fact that I did not get the onion powder in the soup form. All right, you're going to put this on high for four hours. I did change the recipe a bit. Next ingredient is baby carrots and some mini roasted potatoes that I'm gonna roast well, you know, in here. Um, anyway, <laughs> so the reason why I changed the recipe is because you're supposed to cook the beef chuck for four hours on high and then for two hours on low, you were supposed to then add the carrots and the potatoes. But I didn't have time for that because I didn't realize that it was going to take a total of six hours. It was already 1 p.m. and I'm trying to do intermittent fasting where I don't eat after 6 p.m. So that just wasn't going to work out. So now I'm just adding some white mushrooms here. So here it is at a glance, that's everything inside that I just showed you. And here I am checking it after the four hour mark. So I added it the rest of the stuff at the two hour mark, but I saw that it was still a little pink. So I decided to cook it for an extra hour, just to be safe. Okay, so after I cooked it for the total of about five hours with everything, I tasted it, it was so amazing, you guys. I don't think I've So let me just kind of explain real quick. Um, I cooked the meat by itself with the soup, the cream mushroom soup, for about two hours, and then I added the um, mushrooms, carrots, and um, potatoes, and then a total of five hours all together. So this is the end result. Thank you for watching. Subscribe.